This is Lucy, guys. Okay, I've taken her to the doctor. I've spent $700. I took her to an emergency, thinking she had a foxtail. I have her on antibiotics, just in case, because she had some stuff coming out of her nose. That was clear. And people, I need help. They want... The low is 3000 something, the high is 4000 something, which that's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking for is, I believe she has a foxtail, and I think it's so small and it's in there. Yes, they did, they looked, they didn't find it. However, the doctor or the vet that just saw her um, said that he could sedate her and look again, but because it was done already and they couldn't find it, that they think that a right a specialist could come in, sedate her, and looked really good. They said that she's really, really good. And if there's a foxtail, she'll find it. But they said for sure that they'll do a CT scan if I want. But that's $2,000. I don't have $2,000. I don't want to put her down. Because I can't find a fox till I don't want her to suffer. I know it sounds funny, but I just tried to suck her nose out as much as I could. I know that must be uncomfortable just to see if I can suck it out, whatever's in there, if there's something in there. First, it started off with backwards sneezing and throwing up <coughs> foam, and then it turned frontward sneezes. As you can see, she's not comfortable. There's something in there. So I'm asking for help. Yes, I applied for care credit and I was denied. But I'm just trying to ask anybody and everybody to please help me. I tried to set, see if the doctor's office, the vet, would set up a PayPal so that money could be sent directly to them. But they said no. So, I'm asking for help from anybody and everybody. I will post the invoice and exactly what I think should be done, which would be sedation and removal of uh, a foxtail um, and have a specialist go in there. That's all I'm asking. I know there's some other charges on there, but I'm going to do the bare minimum. If they don't find a foxtail, then I, I don't know what to do. She'll go hours without sneezing, which is kind of weird. But then she'll sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. This morning, just now, I walked in. And she was doing this weird thing. Lucy. And I'll videotape it if I can. Hey. Hey. And it, um, she looks like, like she wants to throw up. But I'm going to take her for a little walk. I try to keep her as much as I can. And I'm praying in the name of Jesus, Father God. I pray for her all the time. I don't want her uncomfortable people. You know how it is to be uncomfortable and in pain. I don't know if she's in pain, but I know she's not comfortable. Would you please? Huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on, get up. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what? I love you so much. I don't see anything coming out of her nose anymore. You gotta give me your medicine. See that on the right nostril looks a little bit wet in there. Okay, people. I will. You just missed her sneezing and sneezing and sneezing before the video came on. Come here. You want to go for a walk? You want to? Huh? Come on. Let's go. Okay, I'll do some more taping. So I want you all to hear. Or give me your opinion on what I should do. 
And I don't know if this is considered a pre-existing condition because I can get her insurance uh, when I get paid again on the 3rd, which is probably about 40 something a month. There's some good insurances out there. And I'm going to get it for her. But they said no pre-existing conditions. I don't know if this would be one. I mean, I, I, your opinion would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. God bless.